for Google Allo is easy. We just all you require is your phone number and your name and obviously a device that's compatible with Google Allo. But apart from that, that's all you need. The best part about Google Allo is the built-in Google Assistant. Now the Google Assistant can help you with everything between just telling you a joke if you're bored or helping you work out tough maths equations just by asking it questions. So for instance, on my screen here, I uh, clicked uh, interesting fact and Manhattan Henge came up and it was actually interesting. Well, it was intriguing, but I wouldn't call it interesting. But anyway, just those cool little facts that it can tell you, I just think it adds a lot to the app. Google Allo can even remind you for things you need to do. So you can just ask Google Assistant to remind you that you need to check the techsnack.com tomorrow and it will remind you in whatever time you choose it to remind you that you should go and do that. What we've learnt from this is that Google clearly can't index my website properly. But anyway, another feature that the Google Assistant has is you can get it to define things within the app. So if you're in a group chat with your friend and they're like, nah, this means that, and you're like, no, that actually doesn't mean that, you can just write at Google and it will give you the definition and both of you will be able to see that. So one of the cool things about this is that Google Assistant is available in any chat as long as you do at Google. And then you can just ask it a question. Another cool feature but in Google Allo is that you can actually tell it to translate something for you inside the app. So if you want to speak to your friend who speaks a different language and they say something you don't know, or you just want to show off your mad skills to your friends, you can just go into the app and ask her questions. Google Allo can even give you flight statuses, so if your friend texts you, I know I'm a plane person, so I usually get people asking, oh, what plane is my friend on? Oh, where are they? Oh, where are they currently? Oh, one time oh, we were in class and a bunch of people took my phone just so they could track a flight that was going to take, like, hours and it used 200 meg of my data. That's not the point. Um, you can get, so you can get the app to show you flight information, the terminals, the gate, how long it's delayed by, how long it's early by, its arrival time, and it'll just show you an indicator which you can find in normal Google shirt search, not shirts. Uh, anyway, yeah. So it's currently the school holidays here, and lots of people are bored, and I know that is from the outrageous amount of Instagram comments I'm getting, but that's not the point. You can even ask the Google app, you can even tell the Google app, sorry, that you are bored, and it will just show you some random what they think is funny footage. I haven't actually seen it because I don't have the time for that. Or you can ask it interesting facts, which are actually pretty cool. You can even subscribe to Daily Facts, so they'll send you a fact every day. Uh, just choose the time. I did that because I think they're cool and I like facts. When asking the Google Assistant about weather, it will come up with something pretty cool, like you might want a raincoat tomorrow, which is, I think is a nice touch, uh, rather than just when you ask the Google app questions. Uh, that just brings you the weather without having a nice little touch to it, so I really like that feature. You can even ask Google to give you the latest news, so I asked for tech news obviously because tech news. Anyway, uh, it came up with uh, something by Edward Snowden telling you not to use Google Allo, which is kind of convenient because we're talking about Google Allo now. Uh, but yeah, so it will give you the article, you can click on it and read it inside the app. So at this stage I just started playing along with Google and was uh, saying stupid things and at, it was at this stage where it thought I said Justin Bieber instead of memes and that in itself is a meme but apart from that um, who searches for Justin Bieber? that's just my question and I know there's going to be people and there's probably people watching this that would say that because lots of my friends watch this but I don't care at this stage I was wondering what was wrong with Google Allo for thinking memes was Justin Bieber so I said it was special and it said thank you. It, it thought I was meaning special as in it's special but I really meant it's special. And you people know what I'm talking about when I say special. I'm not going to explain it for you but it, it, it likes being special. It knows it's special. So it's, it's just very special. It was at this stage when the Google Assistant decided to contradict exactly what I said when I said what I never asked for any photos. It then sent me some more photos. So thank you, Google. I really appreciated those photos. I really, really appreciated it. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning into this video. I know it's a bit delayed, and I know I'm I'm recording this right now at 10:40 p.m. and I really don't want to. But the last video I was going to put up, the audio was so bad that my ears walked off and were run away. So I decided I wasn't going to make you guys listen to that 
so I made this for you. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoy. Install Google Allo, I do really recommend it. The assistant is quite helpful when I'm not thinking I'm saying Justin Bieber. But anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you.